going to talk about the difference between anti-siphon device, vented loop device, and a, and a, a P-trap, the P-trap. Okay, this is a vented loop, you see? This one have the function of anti-siphon, and additionally, when the water reach that point, the majority of the bubble goes here, and you release pressure here. This valve, with a ball and a spring here, is to release, to release extra pressure, to bleed the system. This one have dual function, anti-siphon and bleed it. There are other ones like this, without this, completely closed. This is only anti-siphon, no? In what case I need anti-siphon with a bleeded, like this one, vented loop? In sanitation system, it's excellent, because I need bleeded, bleeded air. That's okay? In what case I need only anti-siphon? Give me examples. Uh, fuel. Fuel. In a coolant on the engines, you need only the anti-siphon. Uh, in raw water, excuse me, the raw water of uh, of uh, the the cooling system in generators and engines is anti-siphon device. And what is the the P trap? What is the P trap? You remember the P trap? Exactly what is the P trap? Uh, we are going to do the picture of the P trap here. Later, we are going to talk about the air conditioning unit. <coughs> and we are going to install air condition units. And uh, this is uh, the evaporator that is located in the cabin. In the evaporator, they condensate water. They condensate water here. And that water condensated should be drained with a clear hose here. Suppose that this is the boat. This is the hull of the boat. And this is the drain line with, with fresh water condensated line of a, of a, of the air condition system. That condensated line, in some cases, is drained in the, in, into a sump pump and pumped out with the sump pump. In some cases, uh, this is the water line outside, is pumped out directly overboard. If you drain that water directly over, overboard, you need a pit trap. The pit trap is this. Suppose that the suppose that the, the 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 pan is completely dry, no water over there. You have that amount of water accumulated over there. Yes. And uh, what happens if the exhaust pipe of the engine or the exhaust pipe of the generator is pretty close of this, and you don't have this? You have this connection directly over there. You get air. The gases or... from the engine enter in the cabin. Where is located normally the evaporator of the air condition in a typical boat? Is like under the seat Inside of, of the closet yeah. or uh, behind of the bed, under the bed, no? And what happens if you are sleeping and you don't have pit trap and this hose is open and it's clear, the air condition is not running? The gases, the carbon monoxide enter in the cabin and what happened with you and your wife sleeping? Okay, sleep. Bye bye. Yeah. See you later. It's like good sleep. Okay. This is why this is this is P trap. P trap. P trap. What is the function of the P trap? Avoid the injection of gases coming from the engine room, from uh, the exhaust pipe of the generator, coming from the engine uh, uh, exhaust pipe. So on homes. What is the ABYC recommendation between the the, 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 the feeding of this pit trap and the feeding for uh, with respect the distance with respect to the feeding of the exhaust pipe of the engine or generator what is the minimum distance accepted 15 inches 15 inches that's the minimum distance accepted by ABYC this is one of the question in the system ABYC exam 15 inches that's okay guys the P trap now it's clear the difference between a pit trap vented loop and anti-siphon device, that's okay. The vented loop drain, bleed, air, 
the anti-siphon device only block the intrusion of siphon in water and this one block the intrusion of gases into the cabin. That's the main difference between those three terms. Good guys?